All right. Detroit loves chips, pop, conies, sports, and, of course, celebrating all With things. beer. With beer. Yes, 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 yes. It's <laughs> our favorite thing to do. The Detroit Beer Company is here today because we're celebrating 20 years of brewing. Uh, I know you said don't call you rich, so we're going to, or Richie, right? So we're going to Richard. Richard, Richard yeah. Richard's here. He's the brewmaster. He's going to tell us all about what's going on this weekend, all about the beers. You got the mugs, T-shirt in here and everything. Yep. Let's just start with while you're here. 20th year. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I know you haven't been with the company all 20 years. I no, assume, actually right? about 10, though. About 10. Yeah. I mean, how has it come from now, from then to now? I feel like beer, micro brews, and all these Beer has been like super more popular than usual, right? Oh yeah. What is, what is that? Why is popular. that? Um, I, 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 the communal aspect of it, I think. Yeah. The, the, just getting together with friends yeah. and having a nice beverage. And I mean, that's what yourself. I love about it. I mean, yeah. having a good time and obviously then enjoying good beers too. Take us through what we have here today and we'll do a little taste test as yeah. well. So we have Oktoberfest there. IPA here, uh, 313 Pilsner here, and then Detroit Dwarf, which is an amber. The 313 Pilsner, I feel like I have to try okay, that Okay, I'll go yeah. with the Oktoberfest. Okay, I'm going to do this. The time. Pilsner. Okay, cheers. Yes. Cheers. To uh, a good Monday. Do you think, and I'll let you take your sip, but do you think like the uniqueness surrounding, like trying to make unique beers, like that's kind of grown? I do, but um, we like to focus more on traditional styles. Okay. So we try not to get too crazy with the beers. Because you um, could if you wanted to, I feel like. Oh, yeah, I mean, but I feel like there's a lot of people that do that. And I, this, to me, the skill as a brewer is really in making these styles of beer really mm. well. So one of my friends uh, I like this. tried to brew his own beer, and he said it's impossible. Yeah. What, what's the science behind making a good beer as the brewmaster? Cleanliness. That, that's ah. the number one thing. Yeah. Sanita on sanitation. That. Like, Cleaning your yeah, like I would say eighty percent of my job is just cleaning. Huh? Yeah. I mean, how many brewmasters are there for Detroit Bre Beer oh, Company? Just one, just me. It's literally yeah. just you. Yeah, I, I, I do everything myself there. Wow. Yeah. And I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, you guys, do you sell locally too, or do you? Can you only buy from? Yeah. So we're a brew pub, so okay. we only sell on site. Sure. But that means we have a little bit other things too. So for the anniversary party that we have on Saturday, we actually have a full bar as well. So wine, cocktails. We have craft cocktail. Uh, okay. A list and everything. Like what that. about food? Oh yeah, full restaurant. We saw yeah, the yeah, video the of the food, great. and that food was looking good. The food did look so yeah. good. Obviously, yeah. you're on. About 20, 30 minutes ago, the food was going through the uh, the TV, and I was like, "Oh man, that food looks so good." What are you most food. looking forward to uh, on Saturday? So Saturday we have uh, we have our ceremonial tapping that we're going to be doing. Uh, for the first 150 people coming in, we're going to be doing a giving away a commemorative shirt and glass here. So we have a uh, okay. Richard, let us see that shirt. Hold yeah. it. Yeah, hold ah, it up. We want to see it. Hold it up to the camera. Yes. yes. Okay. Yep. Very cool logo going it is on. Cool. I Love like it. that. Celebrate October. Well, I mean, I know it's September 30th yeah. is the day, but still, very October vibes too. Uh, what's like? Do you think the future is of Detroit Beer Company, and how can you maybe get bigger and better? Um, so we're pretty restricted on our size sure. and everything. Um, so expansion has never really been in the the books for us. Okay. Um, okay. It's more about just maintaining the great quality of beer that yeah. we're brewing and making. Uh, you know, have people come out and enjoy it. You want to do what you do and do it well. Oh, exactly. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. And you said you want to stop by. Yeah, I'm stopping by. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna finish this, but maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> but I know Saturday, it's all day, right? It's all what day. What time do you guys open Saturday? Eleven. Yeah. Okay, Richard, is there a beer you're most proud of, or you don't have a favorite? Oh, I have favorites, okay. and it is a three one three pilsner right now. See, <laughs> Did you drink it? Yes, what do you think? I like it. I really like it. I lived in Wisconsin for four years, so that's how I got turned on to like beer. Before that, I, I think Wisconsin like it. drinks the most beer, right? Probably. I think so. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much again, Richard, with Detroit Beer Company. Uh, if you guys uh, want to come out for the twentieth anniversary, that's this Saturday. And for more information on the celebration, head to our website, cbsnewsdetroit.com. Right.